Hi guys, welcome back to Football Manager 2018, European Journeyman. Um, I have cut in here a little bit earlier than I would like to. Um, you're not going to see what's happening just yet with regards to um, <clears throat> the schedule, the matches played so far. Uh, obviously, what you can see on the screen at the minute is that we are third in the Croatian second league, which means we are in the playoff zone as such. Um, we're also in takeover talks. So local investor Ivan Tabrahia is reported to be in talks to become the next chairman at HNK Shibanek. Kvrachia is believed to be willing to part with no pounds to seize control. Um, <laughs> so we've got a transfer embargo on us at the minute, which is fine because we didn't have any transfers coming in at the, minute, at the minute anyway, nor did we have the money or the wage budget to allow transfers. Um, but I thought I'd show you what was happening in the game so far that we could have a takeover coming in and that they are offering no pounds, zero money at all to take over the club. Whether that means they'll wipe out the debt, I don't know. I should imagine they will. Anyway, guys, we'll come back to the game in a bit once I've got myself to where I need to be and you'll see what's happened so far. See ya after this cut. Hello, guys. Welcome back to Football Manager 2018 European Journeyman. As you can probably tell, I'm not feeling particularly well. Um, I wasn't going to record anything, but something's come up, so I'm going to record this bit, and then we'll uh, we'll catch up with the next match afterwards. A uh, little bit of news: our takeover has collapsed. Um, Ivan Kabrahia, uh, his proposal has been rejected by the Sibnek board. Um, it'd be unwise to rule him out of investing in the club in the future, however, and obviously our transfer embargo has now been lifted. Um, because our transfer embargo has been lifted, I have managed to put in a uh, contract offer to, I think it was Vedran Golutsa, or was it Yasmin Chalikovic? I can't remember, one of the two guys, uh, I had the opportunity to, I'll do it with this guy here as well, um, basically approach to sign him, and um, not being funny, they're worth signing aren't they, they're free transfers, uh, or at least I assume they are. So, a little bit of an issue with recording as well. So if we go to our schedule, we were going to come back for the Garika, or, uh, Garika game or Garicha game, I can't remember what it's called. Um, the, the voice recording failed, unfortunately. Uh, I don't know what happened. Maybe it was an update on OBS. Um, unfortunately, I couldn't go back so I didn't realise until just before this game. So the game was the, basically the save has been saved. But we'll have a look. So after the Dynamo game, where we left off last time, we won 4-1. We beat Zagreb 3-0. We played against Imotski. We won 4-2. Uh, Garika, we won 3-0. Chibalia, we won 4-0. And Dragoviak, uh, we won 2-0. We do finish off the season with a match against Dugopolia. Um, if we look at the Croatian Second League, you will also see we have guaranteed ourselves a playoff position. Um, this is the last game of the season. Uh, we've got ahead of Novgrad. Uh, eight points clear them. It is potentially a chance of getting second automatic promotion uh, with Solin. Um, we basically would need to win 5 0 and they would need to lose 4 0. And then we get it on goal difference, I believe. Um, but I can't see it happening. So it is going to be a third place playoff. Uh, if we look to the Croatian first league, it is going to be against this team here, Rudez. Um, seven points behind at Lokomotiva and 10 points ahead of Verazdin. Um They are a semi-professional team. Uh, their last few games, they've won a few. They won a couple here against Istra, uh, Slavin Belupo, uh, but ultimately they've lost four, four games. Um, they've got some decent-ish looking players. They've got a couple of guys worth a bit of cash, like this guy here, Carlo Lukic, or Lulic, uh, Dominic Pichak. And Luca Capan has been some of the highlighted players. Uh, if we look at their star player, though, that is Muama Svraka, who is valued at zero. I mean, we could potentially approach the sign him. Uh, he believes playing in the Croatian Second League. Well, mate, next year you may be playing in the Croatian Second League, so we'll come back to you then, shall we? Um, and Dinko Pranic is their hot. 
prospect. But yeah, I mean, we've got things that could happen. We've guaranteed ourselves that match. Um, but we do have Duke of Podia, um to play, and they're sitting sixth. So hopefully we can finish off the season with um, a clean sheet, a perfect record. Because um, since we came in for the Major Merger match, we've not lost a single game. Had a few clean sheets as well. One, two, three, four, five, six clean sheets, which for us is a rarity. Um, could be the stronger defence. I don't know. Um, we do have a very small squad though, so if we do get promoted next season, I'm going to have to look into uh, increasing the squad size. Just want to have a quick look. Oh, he's a manager nowadays. Uh, I was hoping. I was hoping he was still going to be about. Never mind. Never mind, I was hoping he was still going to be a player and see how good he was. Uh, what about Marko Kovacic? Matteo Kovacic? Matteo Kovacic? No. Nah, I can't see. What about Kovacevic? Vladimir Kovacevic? Mario Kovacevic? Darko Kovacevic? No. Oh, well. But uh, it's, it's worth a look, isn't it? Um, so, yeah, so that's what's going to happen. We'll come back after uh, not interested in joining the club. Okay. No, we'll, we'll get this guy sorted out. He wants 775. Well, that's not going to happen. Um, unfortunately, we won't be getting Galitza. Um, not with our current wage budget. Hopefully, money will happen for us. But, yeah, we're going to come back for the Duga Podia game. We'll see you after a little cut, and hopefully by then... I'll be feeling a bit better too. See you in a bit. Right, so let's get this last game of the season underway, shall we? I say last game of the season. Got a playoff playoff game to play still. Um, and no, I'm not feeling better yet. Just want to get this done. I want to move on in this save. Because um, I'm enjoying it. I, don't, I know I don't look and sound like I am, but I am enjoying it a hell of a lot. Still haven't got the team on side yet. I'm hoping that with uh, a promotion that we can do it. Which is really weird, you think. Right? Ten, ma ten match unbeaten streak. You you'd think the team would be happy with us in charge, wouldn't you? Nah, still not keen on us. Still haven't won them over yet. Which is, to me, fucking atrocious. It's like these ungrateful cunts. Don't seem to realise how good they've got it with us in charge. Right, fuck it. Right, Hatic, Malus. Oh yes, oh yes. Um, I can't remember his name now. Oh no, left back. He's obviously not here. He's he's suspended for this game, which is why Yusuf Musa has come forward. Um, Paris, Perich, Paris. I don't know. Doesn't matter, doesn't seem to make any difference because we're banging in the goals already. It's 2 0. Eighth minute. Dugapodia are uh, regretting their trip to Shibanek by the looks of things. Oh, could we get promotion this year? I am disappointed that we weren't able to get the automatic promotion. Um, how is Solon doing? Solon are beating Luko, Luchko. Sorry. Um, I, need, I need to point out in Croatian, this scene K together is a. Sort of uh, Luchko sound. That's how it's pronounced. Um, I found that out when I went to Split on our honeymoon because we were drinking a beer called Karlovacko, and I remember sort of pronouncing it Karlovacko. And they're like, "Nice Karlovacko. All right, wonderful. Cheers for that." But yeah, three 0 <laughs> Which, by the way, Split, beautiful city, worth going. This is on the Dalmatian coast. It's not too far from Split. Uh, Shibanek. Uh, I've had a look at pictures online and <coughs> looks pretty fucking nice. I may have to visit there on holiday at some point and maybe catch a game because um, it does look like an amazing little place. Poor Neil. Well, and Yerkovic. See, now at this rate, as long as. Oh, here you go, Luchko. One all. If Luchko can win this game at this rate, we can actually. Because I mean, we're only one point in it, there's only three goals difference. If they can actually get a couple of goals here and we can keep this this rate of goal scoring up, <coughs> we may be able to sneak in. Um, 
it's a second place. Can you imagine Picardo thinking he's fucking Johnny Wilkinson there for a minute? Skies it. But I mean, seriously, we could if if, if Lichico can do us a solid, we'll be fine. We're five nil up, five fucking nil up. Let's go. Oh, you bastards. Lovely. Let's keep it up. We can get a couple more here. On goal difference. That'd be amazing. Because we, they beat us once before we even got there. And obviously we beat them when we played them last. <laughs> so I don't know how that'll work out. I'm assuming goal difference would be the the deciding factor there. But if we can keep this up, if Lutrico can actually do us a solid. Could you imagine? I won't even have to play a playoff game. I'm counting my eggs before they hatch. I'm counting my chickens before they hatch. I'm not counting eggs before they hatch. Eggs don't hatch into eggs, do they? All right. Let's do another push forward. I think we need to really push forward. Let's have a look at the update. Still 2 1. Still two girls behind. Ah, <sighs> oh, if we can just keep up this this run, this this pressure, we can put another one in. Yeah, when we picked up this team, they had 27 points and were sitting in ninth place. We're now on 60 points. As it stands anyway, we're now on 60 points. Pushing for promotion. 11 games, 11 wins. That's what we're looking at. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. In fact, it's very fucking good. I was not expecting that when I came here. I was expecting maybe a season and a half of building up and then trying to push. Um, the financial situation is... Um, a little bit not good um when i say not good it's not good and apparently from what i've seen we don't get any money for promotion there's no prize money in this league it seems so that's going to be fun get promoted in debt no money can't sign anyone it's not right that being said the prize money for the first league if you come first, it's only 800,000, which is fuck all, really. Come on, let's go. 3 1. Oh, if we can get one. We, we need we need another goal. We need another goal. Um, do we go overload? Let's go overload and let's make a tactical substitution. Um, we could put Ranić out for Musa because Musa's looking a bit tired. Bring on Stanić. I oh, know it's not an inspired substitution. Ricardo's not playing particularly well. Let's get Medven on. Medven's been scoring goals for me. Aliyu. We'll wait for Aliyu. I'm going to push. If Lushko can get one more for me. Oh, fuck me. Solon's got one back. Let's push forward again. Let's keep pushing forward. Two more goals will do it for us. Come on, boys. Place it short. We dispossess him. Go on, get the ball. Oh. That's not good. That overloading tactic, isn't it? That's what fucked us off. I've created holes and left holes at the back. Um. So you're looking tired. Let's get LU on. And we'll get you to go. Last playmaker. Get you to switch to attack. Attack. There we go back attack and back attack just doing all I can to try and push it on I want to let you go get another one <coughs> oh fuck me no don't you'll upset my wife um come on let's go come on boys just it's not going to happen, is it? We're going to have to play the playoff game. I mean, I'm still happy. Still happy. I mean, so I pulled it back now. Free all. So it doesn't really matter at this point. Um, yeah, so we've got a playoff game. We could still get promoted. Things are looking good. Um, obviously, Dinamo Zagreb 2 absolutely demolished and won the league like six games to go something stupid like that so 
Right, well done, boys. Um, you win, boys. They really don't like me. They really don't like me at the minute, which is, as I say, I'm I'm really honestly surprised because of how we've been doing things. We've been absolutely fucking amazing here. Yeah, they just like couldn't care less. It is annoying. It's annoying as fuck and it's shocking. I wonder when our game's going to be. I wonder when our playoff game's going to be. It's okay though. We go probably uh, hammered. Mailers. Yeah, well done, mate. Imagine what, how good you'll be once you've actually learned the position. Um, so yeah, if we look at the squad dynamics, Major support is still poor. Players are going to take some convention to get past your lack of experience. Strong relationship number of players, reputation is quite low. Um, what an unhappy player, but the dressing room maps is very good. Match cohesion is excellent. Um, in the hierarchy, we've got two team leaders, three highly highly influential players, and one influential player for influential player Vigrepa, who doesn't really get to play that often. Um, and he's been playing recently, but there's, there's, there's reasons like Perry Casser being injured and suspended for one of them. Um, Let's move it forward. Hopefully it'll give us a, a rough idea of when we're going to be playing this game. I want to know. Uh, Simonek getting signed for us. I think he was really our player anyway. He was just here on loan. So but he's on end of contract. That was the guy we sorted out a little while ago. It's fine. So Saturday the 8th of June, we've got a week. NK Ruders. So it's two legs. Right, okay, so first leg will be at our ground. Right, okay. No worries. I'm a crowd. I'm looking forward to this. Let's go to the schedule. Both televised. So we get some money coming in. Hopefully it'll clear out our debt. Hopefully, hopefully. We get a scout on this team and we get a scout on this team so get a team report from Yaroslav Kuliak there we go what a team report anyway guys that's going to be the end of today's episode obviously in the next episode we're going to see if we can get promotion to the Croatian first league and we'll be coming up against the likes of Dernimo Zagreb Rijeka and Hajduk Split or Hajduk Split or Hajik Split however you want to say the name I think it's Hajduk but it doesn't matter. Anyway, if you are new to the channel, please go ahead, give us a thumbs up. Um, well, sorry, I'll get that right in a minute. If you are new to the channel, please do make sure you go ahead and subscribe, especially if you've enjoyed the videos and the content so far. Uh, give us a big thumbs up. It always helps with, you know, the, the more likes these videos get, the more exposure they'll get on YouTube and the more I can do things, basically. Um, I do apologise, ow, just bit my fucking tongue too, <laughs> I do apologise about the voice, uh, not a lot I can do about that, um, I wanted to get on, record these while I was able to, anyway guys, see you when I see you, take care, bye bye.